Welcome to Gregory's Physics Class video number three. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Gregory's Excel Lesson zero, uh, 1 to 4, click on the link below the video. Hey, this is the third video. In this video, we want to see how to plot a XY scatter with some points and then have the charting wizard actually do the, the complicated statistics to calculate a trend line. It'll actually calculate the equation in R squared also. Now, you'd learn how to do these things in a statistics class or linear algebra or some other math class like that. But we want to make sure that we distinguish between this trend line, and if we go back to our last video, and the xy scatter with a smooth line. This is a theoretical plot, and we xy scattered it. All of our points, because they were theoretical, they fit perfect on the line. So we went, when we went up to our insert scatter, we used this one. What we're about to do in this video is not this. It is not this one. So I'm going to go over to this one. It is using data inputs from some data, collected data or experimental data, right? So you use the actual data points to estimate some trend line. Again, you use, learn that in a statistic class. All right, so let's see how to do it. It's actually amazingly uh, simple to do. Just like we did in our last two videos, x always in the, is in the column to the left, y is the column to the right, and you can have as many y's as you want. You always have a name at the top that says what data sits in this column and what the unit is. So we have our x and y. I'm going to highlight, and we saw in the last two videos, a great way to highlight a data set as long as there's blanks all the way around is Control Asterisk. Now I'm going to go up to Not Line. That's one number plotted against a category. It's always Scatter because we have two numbers we're plotting to see the relationship, and we're going to use our markers. All right, now just as we did in our last videos, we'll do this quickly. I want to link this to the, the cell, so I'm going to click up in the formula bar, type an equal sign, click in E1, Enter. Right click, uh, go to my mini toolbar, I think I'll type font size 10. Click over here on the legend, delete. Remember in the first video the legend was good because we had multiple plots, but if there's just one plot we don't really need it. All right, we need both our X and Y. I'm going to go out to Layout, Axis Titles, Vertical. How about Rotated? It pops up right there. There's our Y. Click up here. Equal sign and connect the label from the cell. Enter to our label. Go back up to Axis Titles. This time we'll do Horizontal, Below. There's our title. Remember, if it's C dash lines, it won't work. F2 sends the cursor up there, equal sign, and then click on our X, displacement in meters. All right, and I'm going to get rid of not the outside edge, but I'm going to click on these lines like we did in the last video and then hit delete. Now, really, you should take a statistics class and do this longhand to appreciate how awesome this is. But uh, without doing anything, just plotting a chart. Uh, now, up in layout, you can get to trend line. But sometimes it's just as easy to right click the data points, and there it is, add trend line. Now, right here, this is a linear relationship, so we're going to select linear. This is Gregory's physics class. Later, he'll talk about some, some other ones. So we're selecting linear because that's kind of what this data uh, looks like. I'm going to come down here and say display equation on chart and display r squared. r squared tells you the uh, influence the X has on Y. It is not causation. Again, you learn how to do these in a statistics class. But check this out. I just check, check, and close, and there it is. It shows us the actual plot, and it shows us the equation in R squared over here. All right, so just seeing how to do a trend line, make sure at least in your mind that you understand that that's not that smooth line we did before and that uh, it involves some some cool statistics in calculating that. All right, our last video, uh, video number four, we will combine what we did in uh, the second video, a smooth line, and what we did in the, the first line combined into one chart. All right, we'll see you next video.